everyone welcome to the channel Nordic Star way to continuous lifelong learning my name is Karuna Singh I hope you all are doing so well Nordic Star covers the major and important topics for you all again this video is about the very very important topic that is NAC which will cover five major topics which are what is NAC chairperson of NAC principles and objectives of NAC eligibility criteria and the last seven major factors on which NAC evaluation is based. So without much ado, let's get started. Watch this video till the end without skip. The University Grants Commission, aka UGC, established the National Assessment and Accreditation Council or NEC in 1994 as a standalone agency with its headquarters in Bangalore. The mission of NAC is to make quality assurance a crucial component of higher education institutions' day-to-day -day operations. Leading scholar Dr. Bhushan Patwardhan, a resident of Pune and a former vice chairman of the University Grants Commission has been proposed as the new chairperson of the executive committee of the NAC. The NAC's guiding principles are based on objective and ongoing development rather than punishment or condemnation enabling all institutions of higher education to make the most of their available opportunities, resources and capabilities. When we talk about accreditation, we are talking about the NEC certification, which is good for five years. Currently, NEC assessment and accreditation are voluntary processes. The NEC has relatively straightforward but stringent requirements for those seeking accreditation. The NEC accreditation requirements must be met by universities and colleges who want to be successfully accredited by NEC. The first one is, you can apply to state central, private and deep to be university and colleges. Campuses of higher education institutions must be located in the Indian region. The NAC committee does not entertain any offshore campuses. The NAC's assessment and accreditation A and A procedure takes into account HEIs acknowledged by independent colleges and universities. According to NAC, evaluation is based on seven factors which are the very first one is curricular aspects. Second, teaching, learning and evaluation. Third, research, innovation and extensions. Fourth, infrastructure and learning resources. Fifth, student support and progression. Sixth, governance, leadership and management. And seven, institutional values and best practices. According to the new education policy, NEP 2020, the quality of the institution's teaching learning practices will have a significant impact on the grades grant to colleges. Institutions would have to create their own formulas for student success, taking into account both their academic and personal development. Workshops, webinars, training programs, internships play a huge role in enhancing grades of any academic institutions. There are many organizations that organize and conduct workshops among which NSTC is the one which is organizing a workshop on an exciting topic, kitchen-made carbon nanoparticles for sensing organic solvent in agriculture. From 22nd September to 23rd September, NSTC keeps on conducting such workshops on amazing topics. So for your convenience, I'll give the complete calendar in the description box below from where you will be easily able to enroll in all upcoming workshops. So yes, that's all. I hope you like this video. So for these type of informative and educational videos, subscribe to the channel Knowledge Star and we will be working on these important topics for you all. So stay connected. Thank you very much. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.